yesterday on my live stream, I did something a little different. I opened up Xcode, started a blank Swift UI project, and just started playing around with Apple intelligence, more specifically, foundation models on device AI from Apple. And yeah, it really surprised me. The app itself, super simple. You pick a genre, type in a theme, and it spits out a short story right on your device. No cloud, no tokens, no setup, just local AI doing its thing. If you want to see the full thing live them from start to finish, the link's in the description. Oh, and if this is your first time here, I'm Daniel, and this is Solo Swift Crafter. I build iOS apps solo using Swift UI, cursor, and AI tools like GPT and Claude, live from scratch with just enough chaos to keep things fun. If you're into indie dev, smarter workflows, and building stuff without the drama, you're in the right place. So before we dive into the build, here's a quick lay of the land. Apple Foundation Models is Apple's new framework for running large language models directly on your device like no cloud, no servers, just Swift code talking to a local brain. The basic idea, you give it a prompt and it responds. But unlike a typical API call, this all happens privately on your iPhone, iPad, or Mac. And it's not just text. You can decode structured data stream line by line, or even hook the model into real Swift functions using the tool protocol. It honestly feels like codable, but for natural language. All right, now let me show you how I used it. So yeah, as usual, I didn't go in alone. Before even touching Xcode, I spun up a new GPT folder, like I always do, and dropped in a simple instruction, something like, act as a senior Swift developer and help me build an iOS app with foundation models. That's my move every time, what I'm building, how I like to work, and what kind of responses I expect. Usually, I follow that with a cursor rule and a PMR, kind of like setting the table before cooking. The rule keeps cursor on track and the PMR lays out the plan. But this project, it was just for fun, a little sandbox test. So I skipped the cursor rule this time and went straight for the PMR with GPT, told it what I wanted to build, asked it to open a canvas, and that was enough. Cursor got the idea instantly, and we were rolling. It's kind of funny. Even for a quick build, I still find myself wanting that bit of structure, just enough to stay in flow. With the PMR in place, I figured, why not just treat it like a cursor rule too? So I grabbed the PMR, pasted it right into the cursor rules template, the kind you'd use when you say, act as a senior Swift developer, and, yeah, and that was it. I had everything I needed, GPT understood, cursor understood, and from that point on, it was basically just build. So yeah, with the setup in place, I opened cursor on one side, Apple's docs on the other, and had Claude on standby. My goal was simple, build a tiny story generator. You pick a genre, add a theme, and the app gives you a short story powered by Apple's on-device LLM. No open AI, no tokens, just foundation models. So let's talk about the first thing I did inside Cursor. I picked GPT 4.1 because to me, it just works better with structure. Like it gets the PMR, it follows the vibe and it doesn't freeze up. Claude Sonnet 3.7, love it, use it all the time. But sometimes it just, says nothing, literally gives me a no message instead of a proper response. GPT 4.1 doesn't do that. It picks up the flow and runs. So yeah, first prompt, check the PMR, make sure we're aligned. Then I told it to look at the dub dub, 25 docs for foundation models. I wanted to be absolutely sure we were building with the same mental model, literally. Then I flipped on plane mode and asked GPT to help sketch the UI. It gave me a simple three-phase plan, five clarifying questions, and a quick breakdown. I answered the questions, and we were off. There were a couple bugs in the early versions. No big deal. I just screenshot the issue, 
fed it back into cursor and it cleaned things up. Once the UI was in place, I said, cool, now wire it to foundation models. Mm -hmm. And it did. At that point, cursor kind of took the wheel. It grabbed the prompt format from the PMR, wired up the stream response, and gave me this. All of that lives in a story generator class, which pipes the text into a at published variable. Meanwhile, the UI watches that and shows a progress view while the model does its thing. Simple MVVM setup. The file's called story loading view, very cursor-like. But I didn't stop at just raw text. Since cursor was still flowing, I asked it to use Apple's structured response feature. Then I gave it this prompt. Tell me a short bedtime story about kindness. Boom. Full struct returned. Title, body, moral. All typed. Cursor handled the whole thing. I just described what I wanted, and it scaffolded the, the model prompt and decoding. This wasn't write some AI logic. This was, here's what I want. And Swift UI got smarter. I didn't write the UI line by line. I shaped it, guided it. GPT 4.1 took the structure from my PMR and ran with it. By the end of the stream, we had a genre picker, a theme input, a loading screen with live streaming text, and a continue button that pushed to a story view. It felt light, fast, fun, and kind of magical. That's the difference. I wasn't outsourcing the work. I was building with a partner that speaks Swift, this whole thing from setup to UI to model integration, came together through Cursor, not just assisted, built. I didn't have to fight my tools or context switch all day. I gave it a clear plan, a little structure, and let it riff. And what I got back, actual progress, actual code, inflow, foundation models make smart features feel native, Cursor makes the building feel like a conversation. So yeah, Yesterday, I built a story generator, but what I was really testing, a new way to create, try it, see what happens. If you like this, give it a like, drop a comment, or share what you're building with foundation models. I'd love to see it. You can also follow along on Instagram or Patreon. I'm at Solo Swift Crafter over there. And if you're still curious, try it. Open Xcode, fire up cursor, start small. Until next time, keep crafting, keep steering, and don't be afraid to build with the machine sitting next to you. Peace.